All right, my name is Bill. We're going to show you how to replace the camera on an 800 series smart board. Okay, we're going to the smart tools. You can see right here the smart tools has a little triangle with the exclamation mark in it. That usually means there's an issue with the 800 series cameras. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go into smart settings. Then we're going to go into about software and pro yeah, about, sorry. Tools, diagnostics. Then you go to up here in the bottom upper left, it's going to be in smart board, di smart diagnostics. You're going to go into view and then SBX 800 slash SBID 8000 I bar. We're going to click on that. It's going to open up this new toolbar here. We're going to go to view. And this is actually going to give us a view of our cameras. And we're going to click get image. I'll we'll wait here for a second. You'll see on the bottom the representation what it's supposed to look like, and on the top, what it does look like. And it looks like we have a couple cameras that are not working. Okay? So with that being the case, we know that as you can see here, the top camera, which is camera zero on the bottom left, and camera two on the top right are non-functional. So we will be replacing those two cameras today. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the, cam the pen tray. And that Right here, there's a USB. And here in the back, we've got these. Okay, so right here in the back of the pen tray, you got this little controller that goes to, the, it's the, basically the connection to the board to the pen tray. You're gonna need a small uh, flat screwdriver to take these screws out. There's two of them. So we'll take that out. Looks like a VGA connection at the back. It's actually fine. So we'll see that. We're going to set that aside. And then we're going to take under underneath the board, you're going to have two screws, and they can be any type of screw. But in this board, they're a Phillips screwdriver, Phillips bit. So we're going to take those out. Set them down. Then we'll take down the board. And then we're gonna find a place to set it up against. We'll just spin it here. Okay, so we'll start with here on the corner. We've done the test. We'll we've you've see, uh, we'll show you, and here on the corner is the we've marked the camera that needs to be replaced. So we're going to take it's three Phillips screws in the corner here. Take those out, and then one here in the corner. Pull off the cover and set it aside. And now here you're going to have the connector and two uh, Torx bits that are a Torx 1.5 to remove those. Now we're going to use a Torx bit, take off the connector bracket, one, let's go slow on these, and two. So now we'll undo the connector, it's done. And now we're going to have a little tool that comes with our kit, the replacement camera that has a small torque spin on it. I'm going to remove the camera right here. Now when you remove this, these two Torx bits, there's two different types of cameras. There's a camera A and a camera B. This corner uses a camera A. So you can see right here, we're just going to take the little tabs and it's going to slide right out that out like this. And you can verify on the camera here in the corner of the leg, it's going to say it's a camera A. So I'm going to verify that with my replacement unit here. It's also a camera A. So we're going to put that back in the same way we took it out with the connector facing up or towards us. And we're going to put it behind the reflective strip down here. So it's going to go in front of the reflective strip, put the legs up on the backs up on top like 
that. We'll put our screws back in. And they can take a little bit to get adjusting, but this one went right in. There's the Phillips, they're just a machine screw with a Torx head. all the way in. Still a little loose. Okay, there we go. So now that's snug. So we're going to put this connector and put a, push it back in. Just like that. Grab your silver Torx bit again. It's a machine screw as well. We're going to put that. Just snug it. You don't want to make it too tight. It just needs to snug. Two screws back in. And we'll switch out to the Phillips bit and put in the cover. The silver screw goes in the corner. And the two black ones go in the outside corners, the edges and the bezel. Okay, now we're ready to set it back up and test. Okay, so what I did is I mounted the board, made sure it got, went over the cleat mount on the top. Then here in the bottom, we're going to slide it back and forth, so we recenter it on our projector. So we're basically marking it, or putting it back where it was mounted before, based on the lower fasteners in the bracket. And we'll put our two screws back in. Found the, find the holes that were there previously. Snug it up, doesn't need to be tight. And then what we'll do is we're going to put the power supply back up here behind it again. And the USB cord. And we'll get our pin tray. So, first thing we'll do is we'll connect the USB cable here on this side. And the power to the back. And this little connect cable connector needs to be screwed back in. I'll grab my screwdriver, the flathead. We'll basically just tighten this back up. And then we can do a calibration on the board and verify that our pins work and the finger touch works on the entire surface. Slide your pin tree back on. What I'll do now, as you can see, it says please calibrate the smart board. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to grab my pen out of the pen tray. And this one's a little different than the orientation. So you're going to go press the center until it turns green. And then move to the next one. And you're going to repeat this process on all of the dots. So this is a calibration, which is a little bit different than an orientation.
This is just testing all of the cameras that we just replaced and making sure they play nicely with one another. If our cameras weren't working, it would not let us do the calibration or it would let us get part way through and then it would quit. Which right now, it looks good. So we've most likely been successful with replacing the cameras. Now it's going to switch, and this is the normal orientation that teachers are used to. You're going to start outside, slide to the middle, and then release. Okay. So we're going to go up here again. We've got our, this uh, smart board diagnostics. We're going to click get image just so you can see what it's look, supposed to look like. So you can see we've got camera one. Camera two, or camera zero, I should say. One, two, and three are all functional. So we'll close that out. Close out the diagnostics. And we'll actually go back and go to our notebook software. And let's go full screen on this one. And make sure we don't have any breaks in our ink. Good to go. Working smartboard. Thanks.